All right, guys, welcome back to more PS5 Master League. And today is the start of a new season today. But before we get into that, look at this. Look at this, what's going on? Look at this sexy new layout we got going on. Oh, baby, it looks good. And um, yeah, this is the uh, latest... Well, at least I think it's supposed to be the latest FLS patch. So uh, yeah, thank you for um, sharing this with me, Football of Puma, and all the other guys that make this patch and make these things come together because this looks really good. I've been testing this patch out for like the past sort of like week or so, and it's looking really good, and I appreciate that. So uh, yeah, we're going to get straight on to our um, pre-season uh, campaign, which is against the Pilates guys. But look at that budget. Look at that budget. That is so, just, like, so good. we got so much to use. We've got nobody to really spend it on. So that'll be interesting this episode. But welcome back, and let's go to our first game. So here we go then, guys. Here we are. We're playing against the Pilates, and we're at Crook Park today in Ireland, guys. So, yeah, that is what is going on today, and what is this, you ask? What is this in front of me, I hear you ask? It is a new kit, guys. We have a third kit now, thanks to this uh, new patch or whatnot. So, yeah, well, it's not really new. It's an old kit um, of Liverpool's, but um, it's been implemented into the patch, so we now have an option of a third kit if we so need it. So if we're playing a team like, I don't know, Sunderland or something, they have usually a, um, they, they have like a, a red and white uh, home kit. So if we, if we was perhaps aware to that team, um, we would then have the option of going to the black kit because our away one is um, white. And there we go. There is the first goal of the preseason. Immediately, it's Schwartz. And Schwartz has got a totally different face. He looks different. That's weird and stuff. But I like it. He's had a makeover. He's got... He's got all this going for him. <laughs> um, so that's something. Schwartz is looking a little different. Like everybody's been having makeovers and haircuts and all kinds of crazy things happening. So, um, yeah, uh, Kaiser there with the assist and boom. So, yeah, the Pilates team is actually sort of a team of baldies. That's kind of what it is, <laughs> if you're wondering. Yeah, it's like a team of... Um, guys with no hair so yeah um i think apart was it the keeper that had hair though that might be uh, something that happened but yeah that's kind of like the whole point of it so it's kind of an interesting team um so yeah i decided that um and now pre-season this year we would um do something a little bit different we'll, we'll maybe have a few games that are away from home as usual um, but we'll also have uh, one or two games um, that are at uh, neutral venues as well. So, uh, yeah, today we are in um, Ireland. And in the next uh, one, I'm thinking we'll go Scotland. So we'll do something a little bit different, uh, which is always good. So, yeah, have some of that, guys. Have some of this new stuff that's coming your way. So also today, you might have noticed um, we're playing... A new formation as well so we're going to a 442 formation uh, that I've been testing out and it works pretty well and I like it and we're gonna see how it goes with the team so yeah a lot of players playing today um, that don't normally play of course like uh, Gerard and stuff are all on the bench there's no Ronaldo they're all them guys are taking a break from this one today there's no reason for them to really be there Mafio is the captain Cafu is playing Van Dyke is playing this one I believe Canabarro is playing that shot did not require a save. That was going off target. And Nelka's shot there from miles out. Did it touch him? No, it didn't. Okay, it looked like a save for a split second. Um, yeah, who else is playing? Babel, uh, Schwartz up front. Um, Shimizu on the left of the midfield. So that's something. And it's Babel. Oh, he nearly had the touch there. Which is um, crazy. So yeah, plenty of new stuff coming our way keeps things a little bit fresh because um, over the past few seasons it's been getting a little bit like oh we need new stuff <laughs> we kind of need new stuff instead of the same old same old and um, there's going to be even more new stuff to come well well not too much new but enough to um, keep things a little bit more interesting I've decided but that'll be at the end of pre-season you'll see what all that's about eventually 
so yeah that is it so far we are uh, we're changing up would we a much needed change i think and again i just want to thank all the guys that make this happen because this this is what pez could be you know if it wasn't for things like licensing issues and stuff like that but yeah it's about as close as you're gonna get it's not perfect it, it's like no patch is absolutely 100 percent perfect but we can get it damn near close you know well i shouldn't say we because it's it's nothing to do with me but you know it's uh um, it's just fantastic so here's a nelka he's gonna score marshall should have done better i think there oh well it's one one that makes it interesting <laughs> Um, so yeah, look at Schwartz, look at his new stuff that he's got, you guys are going to point out who it actually is, because the patch just like covers everything, so it's, it's probably going to be, it looks kind of like Joe Cole a little bit, does he, does he got like that kind of Joe Cole kind of face going on, it kind of looks like it, just a little bit, just a little bit, so yeah, whatever, I mean it doesn't bother me, I mean at the end of the day, it's good stuff. It's good stuff. All of this is good stuff. So yeah, can we beat the the Baldy team today? Who knows? We're we're, we're finding out. But um, yeah, that was a little bit of a bad defending there. Here's Babel. Uh, he's gonna have to wait for somebody to come in. Oh, it doesn't quite happen. It's gonna go out. Here's Fabregas, he's going in, mm, back out once more. Here's Kaiser, here's Shimizu, oh it's Shimizu, it's Shimizu, he's waiting, ah, didn't happen, didn't happen. This is going to have to be stopped, Cafu sticks a foot out, very nicely done. Yeah, that was one thing at the end of last season is that we had um, the retirements, we had some players retiring. And whatnot. Hit is Schwartz. Can he keep hold of the ball? No. Nope. Unfortunately not for him. Um, we had a lot of players. I think it was like Mal Maldini was one of them, wasn't he? Um, stuff like that. So, and, ah, uh, that's pretty bad. Ugh. Well, Shimizu's looking at it and he says, you know what, let's go. <laughs> Oh, oh, well, that's a good early sign for the season, though. You know what I mean? Taking a free kick like that. Um, so I think usually I believe the regen players don't really take effect um, until um, like the January window. So it should be a pretty interesting January transfer window. Mizu there did really well. He's impressing in this game on that left side so far usually playing like attacking midfield but like I say we're experimenting this could be a new formation for us here's Schwartz he's got to make a runner Schwartz that runner's been made but it didn't go through to him here's an Elka it's Fabregas uh, Cafu two company Van Dijk, here's Shimizu once more, can he put in Babel, it's a pretty decent ball, he gets the shot off to say the least, but nothing happened there, that is going to be half time, and it's 1-1, it's pretty fair I'd say so far, pretty fair. We're back off against the Baldies, guys. And, um, yeah, um, so in this first episode, usually the first episode of the preseason, we can't transfer straight away because it doesn't allow us to. That's dodgy. Um, it doesn't allow us to, but at the end of the episode, we can start looking at who is available on the transfer market. So we'll look at free transfers, stuff like that, um, and see how we get on with that. So... I'm loving Shimizu on this left-hand side. The thing is, though, Ronaldo during the season is probably going to play there. So it's nice to know that we have that backup, though, that we can use on the wing. And Shimizu has just gotten better. And Anelka 
I mean, fair enough if that had gone in. I mean, he just turns our player. I think it was Cannavaro that he turned. Cannavaro's still like, what, 18 or something at this point. But fair enough with that. That If that had been a goal, I would have just said fair enough with it, honestly. Um, so, yeah, here's Shamiz. Oh, he's not giving it up. He's not giving it up. He's, he's playing really well. He's got all this, like, pace and speed about him. Being here since season two, I believe. And, oh, wow, he's just been great. Was there was on about getting rid of him, wasn't we, at one point? And then he stayed, and then he stayed again and again and again. He's just been so good. And here is Ka oh, Kaiser. Miscontrols that. Here's Schwartz. And it's Babel. And it's Shimizu, and he's put Babel in. Uh, Babel's kind of run out of space a little bit. Still Babel. Still Babel. Kaiser. Kaiser needs support. It's Fabregas. It's Kaiser again. The Fabregas. Uh, it's kind of all gone a little bit weird there. That's a uh, free kick. Kaiser, ah, oh, he's brought down. See, Kaiser usually plays defensive midfield, but we're putting him into um, central midfield today. So, yeah. I'm liking the wide player. Yeah, it might the score might be 1-1, but I'm liking the wide player. And that's over to Cafu, who puts Fabregas in. This is looking pretty good. It's going to go into the middle. It comes back out again. So yeah, transfers, I, I really don't know about transfers if I'm honest because, oh here is Shimizu again, oh, his, uh, his pass didn't go through but still, um, I, I I don't know about transfers because we've just pretty much bought every, when we signed Ronaldo, we kind of just like almost won the game you might want to say, like we kind of just like, that was it, <laughs> you know, like that, that, what more can we do, the only pl person that I've failed to acquire is Buffon but it's not worth signing Buffon at this point. There was, there was a point where it was like, okay, maybe we can have a little cheeky pop at him still. But now it's just like... Oh, that's a good effort, that. Oh. Uh, okay. Fabric... <sighs> that's twice I hit the frame of the goal. And... <laughs> Some really good chance. I think would I think the football has been more exciting so far, just in this one game, than probably the whole of last season. For us, I mean, we've been using that sort of like four four two diamond for quite some time, but I'm feeling this is a lot more um, interesting. I feel like we're playing a lot more. How do I call it? Fluent is that the word? We're playing. We're playing liquid football, guys. We're just flowing through <laughs> yeah we haven't got goals but don't forget this is just a, a, a remixed team as I like to call it because we're, we're playing um, the non-first team so that's you know if the first team was out there I reckon we'd be punishing this team all over the shop but um, yeah that's got to go back to the keeper Ooh, dodge 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 Uh, Shimizu, uh, his pass didn't find its way through. You can't fault Shimizu though, he's been my favourite player today, definitely. Well, uh, apart from the passes, obviously, but uh, other than that, I think he's been really good. The subs are lining up, guys, they're all coming on now. I think there's about five, is there, we're doing? No, there's four. We're going to change it up a little bit, just for the end of the game here. It's gone by pretty quickly. But... Still... It's been a fun game. I think we've learned a lot from this so far today. Uh, switching the play here is over to Shimizu. It's Mafia. Can Liverpool find a way through at the end of the game? Perhaps. Oh, Schwartz there. Uh, nobody there. 
because what I'm liking about the 4-4-2 is actually the fact that we're uh, okay um, is the fact that yeah we've got like the we've got like a defensive midfielder but we've also got um, central midfielder and them two are kind of running forward and making runs whereas when we just had the attacking midfielder it was good but it kind of felt like we had to play the ball to that attacking midfielder and they were kind of on their own with sometimes you would find that there would be no support there much and maybe this might suit us a little bit better for the upcoming season possibly we'll uh, we're about to find out really we'll probably play it again in the next game so yeah there's that and is anybody going to get onto this is it going to be just a 1-1 one -one today here's Gerard. here's shimizu schwartz it's foy it's mafio can he make something happen it's mafio somebody needs to get into the box it's Gerard. well he's not captain because well there was only a few minutes left so Mafio's kept it but Gerard heads Liverpool into the lead 90 plus minute and that is game over nice header there right into the top corner he could have gone the other way decides not to Mafio with that I think this is going to I mean look at that I mean Gerard has just come on He's playing... Did he replace... I think he replaced Kaiser, actually. He replaced Kaiser to the central midfield area. Um, probably where Iniesta's going to play. Gerard's just headed that in right at the end. And we was talking about how we want to see more goals for Gerard, or we don't see them really anymore. So, um, yeah, that's kind of something. Very nice game. So, yeah, Mafio with the man of the match there. To be honest, I thought maybe Schwartz, but maybe that assist at the end to Gerard maybe pushed it over the line. Nothing said about it, though. Um, was there anything said about anyone? Oh, Schwartz. Okay, well, he got the opening goal there. Um, but, yeah, I think maybe Shimizu, but Mafio was really good today, and he always plays good. He was in defensive midfield today uh, instead of central midfield because we decided to give it to Kaiser because... Yeah, he plays defensively, but we want to see him go a little bit forward. Preseason's a good opportunity to find that out. Gerard came on and got that goal in the end there, so well done to him. This wasn't an easy team to really play against. Um, they were doing pretty well, but I enjoyed that. Ooh, we got some we got some contracts to renew, guys. Oh god, Ronaldinho zero. Well, we could have just. I know you're all gonna say just let it run out and it, it, let him release him, but you know. Um, Okay, so uh, let's try to renew this for Czech. Um, you know what, let's just give them what they're asking for because I think that's just going to be the easiest way really, isn't it? Um, here, I don't really like to do things. Wait, 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 wait. 880, but salary 801. Okay, I mean, if you want to take a wage cut, dude, I'm happy to do that. <laughs> you know, Fabregas, um, he's 25 now. Let's have a look. He wants five. He wants to take a wage cut. Okay, let's do that. Let's do that. Ronaldinho. He wants a wage cut as well because he's he's actually. If we go back, he's on um, twenty eight hundred. He wants a wage. Well, to be honest, you might as well. We can only offer it to two years. He's not really a part of the plans. He doesn't really stay. I know a lot of people are going to say just refuse it and just let it run out or whatever, but I'm just going to do it for the purposes of we could potentially use him as a part of a swap deal for somebody else or something. So I'm just going to do that for now and see what comes of that. Um, and we'll see. And then we'll see. Anyway, yeah, look, look at those funds. Just look. It's just so good for us now. It's like we can buy anyone, do anything. We're basically like the Man City of of this game now yeah you know i mean we started at the bottom now we're here now we're here anyway let's go into um negotiations then and have a quick look then um let's go to group search first and we'll go for non-affiliated because that's where we usually go for as you can see we can't actually sign anybody on a free because we need to let somebody go <laughs> but we're just having a little look anyway to see if there is anyone because if we do release someone carson's on there really he's pretty good to be fair um if we do see someone that we may want then we can sort of go for them um i'm just gonna have a little 
look through and see if we can find anything. Venegor's on here, 33. Damn, what a legend, what a Celtic legend, what a whole city legend too. <laughs> Um, doesn't really appear to be anything on here that is taking my eye. That's no, there is nothing on there that that interests me. I think it does change from sort of week to week though, doesn't it? This so we can come back to it. Um, but no, not not for me. Not not right there. We've got others which there's just too many players on there. Uh, we've got newcomers though, which we can have a level. <laughs> Gary Neville is newcomer at 17. We. Um, ooh, Coop here. Oh. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, I think, I believe the red sign is, um, is that he's negotiating with some sort of contract negotiation. Yeah. Damn, we'd have to get in there now if we wanted to snap him up. I mean, I know we've got Ramon, but. Oh, good keeper. Uh, who else? Will Tord is in there. 17. Uh, so who else is in here? Let's have a look. Tim, Tim is not too bad. Uh, for goalkeepers, I'm not too sure. It's like we always go through goalkeepers all the time. And we're always changing it up. Um, not too sure about it. Mm, doesn't appear to be anything on page two that's taking my fancy too much. What about... who? Who the heck was that then? 17 year old South Africa doesn't look bad obviously these players will get better in time you've got to understand that they're all pretty much 17 so you you know you can't expect them, their stats to be really good but if they're showing potential even at this age then you know like uh, Brzezinski's agility here is really good um, Fowler here I know a lot of people you know because it's Liverpool and everything they probably want me to go for that it's interesting it interests me uh, but we do have Babel, who's, uh, uh, well, he's 20, I think he's 25 currently, so he, he's still all right. Uh, this is page four, and that looks pretty good for a keeper. Italian, of course. Moving through a DMF. Ooh, those stats are pretty good for a 17-year-old. That looks pretty good to me, that interesting that's interesting this guy's negotiating del piero here <laughs> 17 agility 82 who that's the one that's that's one inzaghi here to be honest that might be a good one for the future because look at his stats already at that age that that interests me quite a bit actually that one um so maybe keep an eye on that page five though and just checking through the stats and just any names that stand out really um, that may be of interest to us we got Cox right there that's something like everybody's after goalkeepers are they and stuff um, Espimus what a legend Espimus ah oh, 17 Valeny oh what a ledge absolute legend uh dempsey as well that's not bad american 17 year old um 83 agility what is his he can play side midfields uh de defensive midfield or center probably want him like center or side preferably probably like side um but yeah rivaldo oh my Ooh, that's interesting <laughs> that's interesting so uh, anyway we're going to search by future potential here and we've got a few players on here so these ones are good for the future um we got takahashi here 21 years old looks pretty decent shearer of course who's still 18 at this time gibbs so i think they usually get snapped up by their previous team most of the time which is something that usually happens i believe because like van der Sar's back at united uh, stuff like that. Benzema, look at that. 24. Ooh, interesting. What is his... Um, his it's the thing about Benzema that kind of puts me off a little bit is his agility is not that great. Um, top speed is not bad, though. He's not in the real world. I don't think of him. He's definitely not the fastest player, but he makes up for it in, like, you know, shot, shot power, uh, accuracy, that kind of kind of thing, um, which I kind of like. Inzaghi here. 
is on there. That might be a case of we need to maybe get rid of someone and bring him in, possibly. Snap him up early. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm, think, I'm definitely thinking about it. We've got Bear Camp on here, who is currently 21. Um, so we could... I mean, it's something. Where can he play exactly? SS centre forward or attacking midfielder? Mm, okay, fair enough. Got Koku on here, who's not bad. Um, two, two guys on there as well. He's not bad. He's not bad. Um, so we got this guy on here as well, who's actually available now uh, for a trade. Mm, centre back, 18. Stamina's 79. I mean, it's not a big issue, but yeah. So we got um, Maldini here, um, who's 23 currently. I mean, at that I'm I'm very I really want that. I really want that. That might be one that we may have to go after, possibly. Uh, openness to negotiation. There's a few on here. Uh, we got this guy right here is 28. Look at those daddy stat stats. There's looking really good. Um, we got Gullet, but the thing is, I want to avoid the legend players like the classic players, so I don't really want to go for that. We got Maradona on here. Didn't we go for him before? Even though his injury, I believe, is like a C, isn't it? I believe, yeah, injury C, so not so hot there. Um, Muller is 33. Park Chu Young who's look at how cheap he is in those stats he's 27 currently guys guys do we do we don't we um crank jar is here 28 i do like crank jar he's pretty good he played for like portsmouth and that and then he went to spares under harry redknapp at one point and that was he, he was I, I liked him back in the day he was kind of a Maybe a bit of an underrated player. De Jong here, look at that. 27, central midfield. Oh my days, he can play centre-back, side-back, wing-back. Oh my days, I want that. 96 stamina. Oh, oh guys, I'm adding him. I'm adding him to the list. I've got to do that. Why have I not looked at this guy before? <laughs> Injury A. He's everything you could want. We're going to have to go for that one. That could be our main target for the summer, possibly. Because, like, like, there isn't much we can go after. That's the thing here. Um, we got some keepers here and whatnot. And Tanji, <laughs> we played for Liverpool that time. Response is 95, to be fair. Uh, Mr. Kellenberg, very good keeper, to be honest. He's 30. And uh, that's probably cool. Australian. Not bad. 28. Fair enough. Um... So yeah, uh, we've got Smith here, who's like amazing for United. Yearly, yearly salary is like 915. That's just like a bargain if you could get him for around that <laughs> kind of contract. But um, yeah, there is quite a few. Ooh, Schneider is one, but how old is he? 28. Do we do do we go for um, De Jong and Schneider, guys? Is do we do a double swoop on Ajax if we can? Is that something? But the problem is central midfielder uh, side and attacking do we really need it when we've got like Ronaldo, Iniesta, Gerard, Fabrias blah 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 you know not entirely sure but we it, it's something we're running out of ideas we need to keep it fresh um Camacho there who we um let go he's uh he's 24 I mean it's possible we can bring him back but I think his stats were declining in certain areas um which was I think was one of the reasons why we got rid of him but he was okay. Um, Ferdinand, is he a regent? No, he's not a regent yet. Okay. Dijon, though, I'm thinking about... I mean, look at the... How much is he on? 466 salary. Damn. Even if we were to go up to, say, 800 with that and we got him, that would be so good. That might be a cheeky one for the next episode. But I'm going to leave it there. The only other real thing that we can do is um, the others, but there is 78 pages of it. And it's just not worth going through, to be honest, guys. Maybe I look at this in my own time and see what there is. I've got good old Castolo there, who's 37. Holy moly. That is something. This is all the um, default players that you get by, um, well, default. Yarich there has done pretty well. Wow, well, he's 26. That's really good. Um, it's interesting to see how they develop over time. You know what I mean? A lot of the time when you start off with the default players, you just kind of 
well, if you're like me, you sell them and maybe keep the odd one or two here and there. Um, Hamster, Newlands, they're just like, yeah. But I'm not I'm not going through that. Maybe if there's anything you guys think there's worth searching in that area, then let me know. But um, the only other thing is, let's just have a look, little look at Buffon. He's still there. How much? 979. He's still going strong. <laughs> he still goes 34, but it, it, it ain't worth it though, is it? It's not worth it. Idol's here. Um, he was on one of the... Was he like the top midfielder, I believe, in Europe currently? Um, on the point system, that is AMF, uh, central and defensive. Looks really good, that guy. He is 30, though, saying that. So is it really worth splashing the money out on a 30-year-old? I don't know. They've got Johan Pelle as well, Juventus. Damn. Damn, didn't we have Johan Pelle at one point? I can't remember. I really can't. The other one I wanted to look at actually was the uh, Manchester United because they have got, where is he? This guy right here. And his stats look awful compared to what he's been doing. <laughs> if he can if he can score all them goals on those stats, that's not bad. He's 30. Um, no, I think we'll give that a miss. But yeah, I'm going to leave it there for today, guys. That was good. I really enjoyed the... Um, the new formation that we we did today uh, so we are currently in negotiations we're moving on to the next game against the oxen which i believe is a team of stamina based players so you know what i'm like when it comes to stamina maybe there's one or two players on this team that we could think about adding to our squad this um transfer window that might be interesting because i'm um, stamina is such a major thing especially when you're switching the team up in later in the season when it's like cup competitions blah 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 you get the point so yeah thanks for watching this episode welcome back and we're moving on to fixture two next time can't wait to subscribe and share as always see you then take care